healthy sources of fat. That's what this video is going to be about. Um, oil, you won't find olive oil, coconut oil, flax oil, hemp seed oil, or any of these other oils outside of nature. They're refined. The only thing that they supply us with is fat with, and calories. They don't have fiber, they don't have minerals, they don't have vitamins, they don't have uh, any nutrition. All they have is fat and calories. So, if you're trying to become healthier, you, <coughs> you should seek out um, foods that are, <coughs> excuse me, rich in nutrition. <coughs> now, when they do studies on high fat diets, they're looking at three main types of fats, okay? They're looking at animal fat, trans fat, and refined oils. They aren't doing studies on people eating healthy whole food sources of fat. And healthy whole food sources of fat come along with fiber and a lot of nutrition, like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, you name it. And so I'm going to show you some good whole food sources of fat. And the other important thing is that that I've been learning um, eating a vegan diet is that if you eat a vegan diet, it's a lot harder to make sure that you are eating enough food to maintain your weight, okay? Because you can get really, really skinny if you eat a vegan diet because now you're eating whole plant foods that are a lot lower in calories than animal foods, okay? When you're eating meat and dairy and eggs, you're getting a lot of fat that comes along with calories, but you aren't getting a whole lot of nutrition like vitamin C, vitamin E, you know, because those are mostly found in plant foods. So what you want to do is you want to seek out foods that will help you maintain your weight so that you don't just shrivel up, you know, and turn into a twig. I mean, I'm pretty thin. I'm really thin. So, you know, I'm trying to, when, you, when you're eating a plant-based diet, you need to make sure that you're eating enough calories so that you have energy, you know. Otherwise, you're not going to have a lot of energy and you're not going to feel like doing a whole lot of things. So you want to make sure, you know, that you're supplying your body with the calories that it needs to maintain your weight. And also, you can build muscle, you know. Guys, just because, you know, you're eating whole plant foods does not mean, you know, that you can't build muscle. You know, I'm pretty thin, but I am defined, see. Um, you know, if you looked at my stomach, you can see some abs. If you, you know, it's just, I don't have a lot of fat on my body, which is a good thing, you know. You don't want all this fat on your body. And you want to try to maintain the waist that you have when you're young throughout your older years. You know, your waist uh, line is your lifeline, they say. So, you know, here are some good whole food sources of fat. Because a lot of people say, well, go on a low-fat diet. And that's somewhat healthy, that's a good thing because you're getting rid of the refined oils and you're getting rid of the animal fats and things that aren't very health promoting and it doesn't have a lot of nutrition so you're just getting all those empty calories. But the bad thing about telling people that is they also throw out a lot of good whole food sources of fat. And if people were just um, gave better information, people could choose healthier foods. So some good whole food sources of fat would be an avocado, okay? Avocado is a whole food source of fat, okay? It's a raw fat, and an avocado, the fat in an avocado will actually help you to release weight, okay? And uh, it also comes along with fiber, with vitamins, with minerals. It comes with um, uh, phytosterols things that are good for your cholesterol levels, like beta testosterone. It's also good for your skin because it's got a lot of vitamin E in it, uh, which is a potent antioxidant. So you can't go wrong with eating an avocado. And plus, one whole avocado is about 300 or so calories. So it's jam-packed, you know, with energy as well. 
So you could throw it in a smoothie, you could put it on like a burrito or something like that. You know, or make, uh, or have it with some uh, healthy chips. You know, as like a guacamole or salsa or whatever. So avocado is a good whole food source of fat. You know, it grows on a tree. Next thing we have is almonds, okay? Now these aren't raw almonds, but again, you know, I'm not a purist, I'm not an, an elitist, you know, I'm not some crazy extremist, you know. I do the best that I can with what I have, and that's the way you guys should look at nutrition. Um, so yeah, you got almonds, you know, that's a nut, that's a whole food. You're getting a healthy source of fat, as well as some fiber, and you're getting natural source of protein, vitamins, minerals, and also you're getting again those plant sterols. That's good for your um, cholesterol, for your heart health. So those are some another good whole food source of fat. And then you got hemp seeds. Now everybody's promoting omega three. You know, take your fish oil. But the downside of taking fish oil is that it's really rancid. Okay? As soon as a fish dies, it starts to go rancid. And fish is heavily polluted with toxins like heavy metals. And by consuming and purchasing fish oil, you're contributing a lot to the destruction and extinction of fish, especially salmon and cod. So you can't really go wrong with taking something like a whole plant food source of omega-3 such as with hemp seeds or even flax seeds because this is a clean source of healthy omega-3 fats that are important for your health and they come along again with fiber, with protein and with a lot of good nutrition, vitamins, minerals and stuff that your body can use so you don't have to, and it's cheaper. It's cheaper to take something like this instead of taking a fish oil supplement. And it's more natural, it makes more sense. It's a whole food, see? You're not just swallowing something, you're not just swallowing oil, okay? Nobody likes really the taste of fish oil anyways. It's disgusting. So people should listen to their instincts instead of doing, doing what some doctor or guru said to do. You know, that's just profiting off of you. So take something like this, get a clean source of your fat, and be rest assured that it's not going to be harmful because, again, it's in a whole food package. And then we also have chia seeds. You know, the Aztecs and the Mayans ate chia seeds for vital nourishment. Okay, they had these before they went into battle. It gave them energy, gave them strength and stamina. It nourished them because chia seeds are rich in nutrition. And again, good clean source of omega-3. It's got rare antioxidants. It's got protein. It's got vitamins and minerals. You can put it in your smoothies. You can put it in your oatmeal. You can use it in so many different ways. And you can buy a lot of it. It's cheap. It's organic. It's clean. And you're not contributing to the extinction of fish. or And you're not polluting the oceans. It's just better for you. It's better for the planet. It makes more sense. It's logical. Why wouldn't people want to do something like this, you know? So, there you go. You know, another good whole food source of fat. And, you know, we always hear the health benefits of coconut oil, right? How coconut oil is so good for us, speeds up our metabolism, good for our thyroid. It's so good to prevent Alzheimer's. It boosts the immune system because of lauric acid. You know, you hear all this great stuff about coconut oil. Well, why take coconut oil when you can just buy a young Thai coconut now in the grocery store? You know, you can drink the water, which is absolutely delicious. You can add it to your smoothies. And then what I like to do after I drink the water is I open it up, okay, and then I scoop out the meat. The coconut meat and the coconut meat is what has the natural oils the coconut oil in it you know got a little piece of bark in there but there you go guys see it's good i mean that's a whole leg i don't know if you can see it but see there's coconut meat in there i haven't scraped it all yet 
But that's a that's the healthy way to get your coconut oil is to eat the coconut meat because that's got the fiber, it's got vitamins, it's got minerals, and you're getting the lauric acid and the coconut oil already naturally present in the whole coconut. So you can't go wrong. So it's a lot healthier for you than just, you know, taking a tablespoon of oil. And um, <clears throat> as far as olive oil and all the health benefits of olive oil, well, you guys don't have to eat olive oil. You can eat olives. Olives naturally have that oil in them present, and you're getting the fiber, and you're getting the vitamins, and you're getting the minerals, and you're getting the antioxidants. So you're getting the best of everything. And you know, it's a win-win situation. So see, um, you don't have to go to refined oils. Always better to eat the whole food because that's got the oil presently in it along with everything else that nature put in that food. And you aren't refining anything, you're just eating it the way that it came from the earth. And I guarantee you, like, if you can really make a conscious effort to eat foods like that in their whole food states, and you can make delicious recipes with this stuff, doesn't mean that you have to eat very simple and be a, you know, a, a barbarian or something like that. You can just, you know, eat foods in their whole food state. It's delicious. It's actually more delicious. And it's more hearty and you get more, you know, you have more strength. You get you get stronger because you're getting nourishment, see. You're not just taking oil. Because, see, well, if you just take oil, you're not getting any nourishment, okay? You're not getting those vitamins and those minerals, you know. You And those things are important for your brain function and all these different chemicals in the food. You need that stuff, okay, in order to have a healthy lifestyle. And I've learned a lot over the years, like, you know, I would take coconut oil and olive oil. And I'm not saying I never do, but it should be a very, very small part of your diet, okay? If you're doing two tablespoons, three tablespoons of coconut oil and you're doing olive oil and you're making raw food recipes like raw cheesecakes with a cup of coconut oil, that's, that's not good, you know, that's not healthy. That's not much better than someone going to McDonald's and eating, you know, a cheeseburger. Because it's just a lot of fat and you're not getting really any nutrients. Okay, the most foods that have the highest concentration of nutrients is green vegetables. Take like a whole bag of lettuce or like a whole head of romaine lettuce and, you know, that's like your multivitamin, okay? That's like your superfood. Okay, a head of romaine lettuce is like a superfood because it's so jam-packed of nutrients, you know. So that's that's the way you got to look at fat, okay. Seek out high nutrient dense fat, whole foods, and stay away from the refined oils. And, because uh, like I said, when they do studies on high fat and they link high fat um, foods with disease, they're looking at three main types of fat, okay, animal fat, trans fat, and refined oils. Okay, any type of oil is refined because they took it from the whole food. So, I hope this was a powerful and positive message for you guys. It doesn't mean you avoid fat, it just means you should seek out whole food sources of fat. Okay, plant whole food sources of fat. And give yourself that nourishment that your body needs. And you'll find that it's a lot easier, too, to maintain your weight and to build more strength and muscle. So with that, if you guys like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And catch me in my next video. Bye.